What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of different knives. Recently we did an unboxing on a trio of Kubis, which we have here in front of you. Now Kubi is doing an insane sale on I believe their entire line of knives, but they're doing an incredibly insane sale on their collection of D2 models. And when I say their collection, they mean every single model that they have in D2 that they have in stock right now is on a sale. So you have the retail price and they're on sale about 10 to $20 cheaper. But they've given me a code to take another additional 37% off the knife. So some of these knives, guys, you can get for like 23 bucks all the way up to maybe say like 30 bucks or so. Uh, so you could get a couple of knives for literally the price of one if you're looking to pad your collection out, try out some different blade shapes, try out some different sizes. Uh, you just need a couple of beaters or a beater to beat on. Uh, whatever it might be, you can go score a ton of great knives for an ex insanely good price. And they all once were, guys, and I paid this for a majority of mine. Uh, these once were 60 bucks, you know, uh, full retail, $60 knives. And they're built like a $60 knife. Now, the 14C and Oz 10 that they are using now has taken over that price point of, you know, $60, $70. And these have kind of trickled down in price to that, you know, $50 range. But now they're trying to, I don't know if they're trying to empty out completely or if they have an overabundance of them, but they're trying to lessen what they have regardless. And one that really speaks to me is this Kubi Talia. I, I have a ton of Kubis, guys, and this is one that I've never handled. Uh, and it has been just the ultimate pleasure to have in. Uh, you can go get this one right now for low mid 20s. Satin finish blade, D2 steel, nice drop point. You have a nice long cutout that runs up into this fuller here. And the jimping on this guy is just incredible. Nice fine jimping. The flipper tab is done extremely, extremely well. You can get a nice purchase on this guy. For the index rollover, It is that's what this is built for. I mean, it's so, so nice. Are you trying to learn on a new front flipper? Uh, this would be a good one to do that. You learning to reverse flick a knife, this would be a great one to do that. Uh, you know, if you're trying to learn different opening methods, that's another thing, you know, getting these knives, you can try different things, see if you like them, and you don't have to break the bank to do it. Uh, and you're going to maintain, you know, function and usability with these, you know, they're going to have a place uh, no matter what the case is because they're just made and done so well. Deep carry, reversible clip on this guy. Uh, this is a sleeper to me, and it has been absolutely outstanding. Another one in that collection is going to be this Kubi uh, Titus or 322. We have a black washed D2 drop point blade with a fuller running into a cutout, and we have a nice rear flipper tab here. And then we have Altum, which I believe this is their newest Titus here, the 322, with the Altum and black blade, black hardware, black liners. It just looks really, really good on this guy. Uh, I, I've never had any Altum. This is my first Altum, and I have to say I, I like it. I'm not jumping out of the window for it like some people, but I like it, and I'm glad that it's an option, and I'm glad there's people out there that like it. Uh, we have a deep carry clip here. It will be reversible. We have that same great action on this guy. And the cutout for this is just very comfortable, uh, very fun. I love this knife. A lot of people really like this knife. 
Uh, I've also had the question of do these cutouts uh, lessen the strength of this blade? And although maybe not as strong as if it was one solid piece, I have to say it's not going to really lose enough structure to probably matter. Uh, you might start to lose some side to side, but I think at that point, point if you're doing something like that you're probably going to snap the blade anyway uh, but for day-to-day -day use and even semi-hard use I mean you'd have to really be people don't understand how strong steel is uh, it, it's very strong no matter what steel we're talking about and some of these steels that are you know born and made to be tough are extremely, extremely tough steels. Uh, so I would say you have nothing to worry about. Of course, you can always break a blade, uh, but that hole in the blade, I've never heard of that being a problem uh, for anyone. So I, I wouldn't worry about something like that. I've had a few people ask me, and uh, it's not something... I have ever had an issue with. It's not something I've ever heard anyone having an issue with. And it's not something I would worry about. If you like a design, snag the design, especially at this price point. Uh, it's absolutely insane. Now, the last guy up here is this Kubi Nova, which is also another new knife to me. Uh, and I have to say, guys, another pleasant surprise here. Or not really a surprise, but just a a pleasant knife to have in a nice unique drop point harpoon blade shape here black wash finish looks great uh, nice and thin down here behind the edge we have these triangular cutouts those are not really going to be deployment uh, methods you can slow roll with it and then there was a point in time where i was flicking that triangular hole but it's kind of kind of hit or miss and I just I don't think it, that's what it's for those are more for aesthetics but like I said you can you can slow roll it out with that guy over around the scale and then you can reverse flick this but I wouldn't even bother using the triangle this has such a tall blade and this swedge here you can just ride that and flick it out and it's you know it's very easy because there's plenty of blade there to uh, reverse flick off of and like I said I have no problem doing that it's easy and then the flipper tab is done very well it kind of has this tail down and it just really works good uh, typically they flare up a little bit this one just flares down and it works uh, works good uh, detent is tuned pretty well. This is more of a secondary size or a secondary carry. Going to be a little bit smaller than these couple here. But uh, the Nova is a very popular model for Kubi. And uh, that's because it's a slicey beast. It's not too big, not too small. Easy to grip and get different grips on. And this is another one that's going to be coming in that low uh, $20 price point. Uh, and this is going to make a very fine EDC knife. We have a nice swell going on back here. Going to be able to get that kind of pistol grip on this guy. We have great access to that liner there with some jimping on the liner. We have a deep carry reversible pocket clip. Uh, these all came centered. These all came with great lockup, and they all came with solid lockup. Uh, and, and that's one thing I love about Kubi. You're going to get function. You're going to get a good price. And uh, Kubi has some really good people uh, working for them. <clears throat> and that's why a lot of these designers that are starting out or even, you know, that have been around, they're using Kubi as an OEM because they do a fantastic job and they have great people to work with. So it's very easy for these newer designers or even designers who've been around to get a hold of Kubi and have them make a design and they just do a fantastic job. They're easy to deal with. Uh, I love Kubi. I love their line of knives. And right now, they are doing us a massive solid 
by having an insane sale on an entire group of knives. Like I said, guys, I'll put the website <clears throat> and the collection link down in the description. I will leave my code right there next to it. You type that code in when you check out, it'll add an additional 37% off whether you get one knife or you get three or four. Uh, so you can get a couple of different knives for a crazy low price. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I wanted to kind of reshoot this video because I didn't have all the information that I wanted to have in the unboxing. Typically, I do the unboxing and kind of willy-nilly around uh, when I shouldn't have done that with this because this is not going to be a forever thing. Uh, it's going to be a limited time, you know, so I wanted to reshoot this, re-get this out here, uh, and get the, the proper, correct information out there, you know, let you guys know <clears throat> that I do have a code, that I do have the links, that, you know, you can go right over there, check the collection out, and if you find some stuff you like, you can plug that coupon code in there and get yourself an even better deal. Uh, definitely three recommendable knives uh, from me. And Kubi just continues to do some, some great work for the knife community and continue having some uh, awesome sales. So huge shout out to Kubi for sending these in. Huge shout out to Kubi for all the things that uh, they do, and uh, I'm uh, I'm glad we have uh, companies like Kubi in the knife community. Let me know what you think, guys, of Kubi down in the comments. I love hearing from you. Let me know if you have any of these knives. Let me know if you're going over there right now to pick up one of these knives or something else. I love hearing from you all. I really love hearing from you guys. Give me a thumbs up before you head out, please, please, please. And if you're new here and you've been here before and you're not subscribed, well, hit that subscribe button down below the video. It's free, it's easy, and I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.